Good afternoon, everyone. We're all 49ers. Today, it's Jack Hammer, Jose Sanchez, Chrissy Squore, and me, Grant Cohn. Chrissy's new. Everyone say hello to Chrissy. She's written two articles for us so far, and they've been fantastic. She's a riot. She's a really, really good writer. And real before I start, my dad wants to say that you crack him up. You're terrific. Really? Amazing. And, and she's a big time 49ers fan, which I think is fair for a 49ers site to have because we're all very serious journalists over here. And so is Chrissy. But Chrissy's also a passionate fan and she's kind of balances us out in a lot of ways. So today we got eight topics we want to talk about and we're going to go around in a round form and argue. So first topic. What does Jimmy Garoppolo need to do to get back on track this week against the Jets? Jose, why don't you start us off? Uh, he needs to stop taking everything Kyle Shanahan says to heart. Uh, huh. I remember freaking <laughs> yeah, I remember when you told us that story about Nick Mullins was doing his own thing because what he saw was better. And that's exactly what I'm just thinking of because a ton of coaches, especially ego and very intelligent ones, which Kyle Shanahan is one. It's just that the ego side kind of gets lost upon some of the fan bases, even some pundits. Is Garoppolo just sticking too much to the script? Like sometimes you, you just need to go off topic, man. If you see that there's all coverage that someone's giving that's a favorable, like that, it's like how many times is Dante Pettis open on the all 22? Was, I was pulling my hair out. Like come, on. like, come on, man. I know, yeah. I know people aren't too great about Pettis, but he had a good training camp. Give him some, give him some looks. Give mm -hmm. him a chance at least. Not like that's one you sailed over him like two yards in front. But honestly, if you stick to the script 100% of the time, he's just pretty much just a yes man. Like sometimes you just got to take the game in your own hand and use your own talent. Be a baller. All right, mm -hmm. stop relying on Kyle Shanahan because at this point you're kind of proving the critics right. Okay, Chrissy, what do you think? Uh, I can, yeah, I'm going to kind of go off of him on that. But I honestly think Jimmy's got to go to counseling. This is something I was thinking a little bit about. I was like, you know what? Every time you go through some kind of trauma in your life, some people can deal with it on their own. You know, they go through the motions of life, whatever, whatever. I think he needs to go to counseling. And what I mean by that is that he's got to get some help. Maybe like Robert Sala's got to get in there and maybe work with him a little bit because that guy scares the heck out of me. Um, but he needs to get in there and somebody's got to really tap into him and just be like, you know what, bro? Get confident again. Get some wins under your belt. I think going against the Jets and the Giants, you know, focus on the run a little bit. Maybe don't throw too much. Look at Pettis more. Give him the opportunity. Don't discount him because you know what? Yeah, he let us down a little bit, but, like, I think the guy's going to come back. I already said that before, but I do think he's got to get his confidence back and maybe, yeah, do his own thing. Don't listen to Kyle. Get out there. Do your thing. I like that answer. Jack, what do you think? <laughs> For me, I'm going to tell him that he just needs to trust his eyes and just let it rip, yeah. you know? Yeah. On, yes. that, on, that, on that throw to Bourne, he's got him wide open, and instead of just letting it go, you can just you can just see him guiding the ball there, trying to will it there instead of just – and. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what I tell them to do. Yeah, I, I have written down, pull the freaking trigger. I mean, <laughs> when he was at his best, he'd hit his back foot and just throw it with no conscience. Interceptable, mm -hmm. in traffic, whatever. I'm Jimmy Garoppolo, I'm throwing the ball, and it worked out, and that was his best quality. Watching the, the, the film today, it was like, if his first read wasn't open, he would just freeze. Mm -hmm. and, and then he would start spinning around. That's not Jimmy Garoppolo. That's, to me, like, Brian Hoyer before he gets benched. That's the mark of what of what Chrissy <laughs> said. A quarterback who's like seeing ghosts, playing scared. It's like it, it almost like it looks like he has PTSD. And it's not that he like got hurt, although he did. I think the PTSD is the Super Bowl and how he lost. Because how this game ended up, like he was right there in position to win it. I mean, he was down four in the red zone, and he kind of repeated history. So yeah, I think he would uh, maybe an exorcism and a therapist. <laughs> He's definitely getting in his own head. Just uh, that's a good point too. You brought in there, Grant. Is but also like, like just jumping on what I said about with Kyle is just he's thinking too much about what Kyle wants. Kyle wants is not thinking about. He's not using his instincts. The moment you start thinking as a football player, you're done. You're not able to even tap in your full potential. So just please, just fire the trigger, like what all of us are saying.